guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me for the new year I'm just gonna give you some little tips things that I'm gonna do to get ready for the new year and things that you should do as well so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video first thing that you should do is declutter and and this doesn't just mean your house or your room it also means your inbox your photos your music all of those things but also your clothes and your room and all of that so just taking a lot of time to declutter I just went through a few of my clothes and got rid of them and I need to go through my digital things to declutter as well but Definitely, we can accumulate so many things throughout the year, and it's so important just to make everything clean and nice, and it gives your brain just a uh, free space so it doesn't feel cluttered just like the rest of your life is. <laughs> so making sure that you take time to do that will be super helpful in preparing you for a fresh and clean new year. Next is reflect, and this is super important because just because we're leaving a new decade doesn't mean we need to leave the old decade behind. So it's important to reflect and just think about everything that went on this year. The good and the bad and the ugly and everything in between. And just really writing things out. I don't know if you're a big journaler, but I am a big journaler. And writing things out is very helpful for me to reflect and figure out just my feelings and thoughts. And that's why I like to journal in that aspect but just take some time to reflect in whatever way works for you just because if we take all of our life lessons and the things that we can take with us from 2019 into 2020 then we will be better off this next decade than we were the last decade so let's reflect and focus on growing and learning from what happened this past year. Next is health and this is important because I know that many of us were eating Christmas cookies and just having a good old time but man do I need to get back into a health routine and I'm sure that you do as well or maybe you're super fit I don't know but most of us kind of let go of our health routine around the holidays and it's time to get back to it and this is the most cliche New Year's Eve resolutions is to get fit and to get healthy. I know that and what we have to do is really just try our best and have grace for ourselves like we're not going to be perfect. There's so many areas in our life that we're juggling and it's hard to stay healthy, to stay fit and to go to the gym all the time but we do get at least need to put in an effort and try to incorporate that into our daily lives. So if that's something that you probably neglected in this past couple of months, then I encourage you, this is your little reminder to get back into it and to start getting a little healthy again to the best of your ability. Next is evaluate and this is something that I think is important to do every once in a while but Taking an inventory of your life is a good way to make sure you're spending your time in a beneficial and wise way. So this means, at least the way my mom has always described it to me, is writing out every area of your life and asking yourself, is this worth my time? Is this something that the Lord wants me to do? And just looking at everything that you're doing and determining if this is a good way to spend your time. And if this is something you want to bring with you into 2020. So if you've never done that before, I definitely think it's something you should be doing because it's important to evaluate and question what we're doing every once in a while to make sure that we're doing the right things. <laughs> so if you haven't done that before or if you just need to do it again, make sure you do that as you're preparing for the new year. Next is goals. Obviously, when you think of New Year, you think of goals, and my mom last year had me and my brothers make vision boards, so we put cute pictures on it and posted it up in our room just so that we had a direction for our life, and I'll tell you what my goals were for last year, and they were to travel to a new state, 
I didn't know I would move to a new state when I wrote that, but I put that on there to reach a certain number of Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers, which I did reach. And the last one is to work on some emotional healing. There was just some areas I wanted to fix. And I definitely feel like I did all of those things pretty well. I haven't planned my goals yet for 2020. I probably will post something about it maybe if you would like to see that on my Instagram. But definitely making goals and having them posted in a place that you commonly look at is a good idea because then it's a reminder of this is why I get up in the morning and this is what I want to do today. So if you've never done that before, I'm sure you have to some extent, make sure you post them somewhere and actually have a plan to stick to them. If you don't have a plan to stick to it, you're never going to actually do it. So make sure you have a direction, a goal, and a process on how you're going to accomplish that goal. Next is to clean. Just clean everything. I love to clean. So cleaning is such a good idea in the new year time. Doing a deep clean of your room, that is a great way to get started for the new year or your home. Just anything that needs to be clean. Anything that hasn't been touched in a while, take the time to clean it because you will thank yourself later for that. And this is just the time to get all of the dirt and the dust out of our spaces and to start the new year fresh and clean and slick. So please do that just for your future self. They will appreciate it. <laughs> Next is to schedule. Schedule the things that you've always wanted to do or the people that you've been wanting to hang out with. Make sure to schedule the times that you're going to do that at the beginning of the new year. Whether it's smaller things like hangouts or dentist appointments or it's bigger things like vacations and all of those types of things. This is the time just to sit down and schedule out what you want 2020 to look like. So. Take the time to do that. Make this year amazing. <laughs> and the last one is to celebrate. Celebrate 2019 and celebrate 2020 and all the things that 2019 had and brought to us, the good things and everything that happened, and celebrate the new decade and what it's going to bring to us and just have a party. I don't know. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this short little video on some ways that you can get started and get ready for 2020. And if you haven't yet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye guys! Did I'm